Get ready to match the star. Host of Jimmy Walker and his friends show, Jimmy Walker. From Father Dowling Mysteries, Mary Wicks. Match Game's own, Charles Nelson Riley. Actress and comedian, Joanne Worley. From the David Letterman Show, comedian Bob Sala. And the co-host of the home show, Dana Fleming. As we play the all-new, star-studded Match Game. And here's the star of Match Game, Ross Schaefer. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Match Game. Thank you. Glad you could join us. We're going to be hello, stars. Hello, stars. What a my man. Yeah, my main man. You we look have adorable. A, uh, you thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. You look now. You washed up good. <laughs> thank you very much, Mary. Nice we, outfit. This is, uh, is going to be a great week. We have uh, we have with us a, a man who is scouring the nation for comedy talent, Jimmy Walker. With Jimmy Walker and Friends Part 3, right? Part 3, but they want to do Part 4, but I have no more friends. So it's all... <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's be our contestants. Enjoy those sticks. Hi, Stephanie. Yeah. Are you up to... We have to, we have to remain friends. We've got to build some new friends now for Jimmy. You're a champ here. You've yes. done very well. $2,950. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Hi, Steve. How are you? Just fine. Now, That's... tell us about, uh, about yourself, Steve. Well, my name's Steve Smith. I'm originally from Evansville, Indiana. I'm now living in Redondo Beach, where I'm working as a waiter, and I'm getting married in a couple months. Oh, you hey. are? Hey! Oh, there you go. Thank you, Mike. Well, maybe we can send some money on the honeymoon for you. Yeah. Well, you know how we play this game. The goal is to match as many of our stars as you can. Every correct match is worth $50. The one who scores the most at the end of the game is the winner, keeps the money, and gets to play Super Match for a shot at $10,000. Stephanie, you are the champion, so you get to go first here, A or B? I'm going to take B. Mm-hmm. Go with B. See, I thought you were going with A, but you went right with girl. Yeah. Daring. Uh -huh. yeah. She is daring. Where are you on the edge, That's Stephanie? It. Joan Collins said... Uh oh, oh, hey, oh, hey Joan. Oh, she speaks. She speaks. <laughs> yeah. I must admit, the gentleman I'm dating now is a little young. Oh. Oh, young, oh, young is is he? He? <laughs> he just invited me to his blank. <laughs> He's a little young. All right, we're ready to go. Everybody has their answers in. Uh, Stephanie Joan Collins says, I have to admit, the gentleman I'm dating now is a little bit young. He just invited me to his... High school prom. His prom. Oh, That's a good answer. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy, just invited it. Now, that's a very good answer, yeah. high school prom. But I said, Boy Scout meeting. Oh, Boy Scout meeting. <laughs> Okay. All right, Dana. Preschool play. His preschool play. Oh, am I? Man, Charles? He's really young. Well, I love Jimmy, but we even go a little further, sweetheart, with a Cub Scout meeting. A Cub Scout meeting. Yeah. All right, no matches so far, Joanne. Well, yeah. she does adore those young guys, but she also likes a man. And when does a boy become a man? At his bar mitzvah. Bob, now if it was Georgie Jess, it would be a bar mitzvah, but I'm a nice Catholic boy. I said confirmation. Yeah, confirmation. Right. We match each other. That's nice. We're a match. All right, Mary, da dating George young is a man. good church goer. Now Thank mine's you, even younger. Do his baptism. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, Let's get you. We didn't get a match. Wow. Sorry, Stephanie. Steve, we'll see match. how you do with this one. Okay. All right. Uh, the boat builder said. That's oh, the boat builder. Yeah, he's, an, he's an anonymous oh, boat builder. Yeah. And Steve like should know person. about this. Steve oh, yeah. lives at the beach. He lives at the beach. Okay. <laughs> Dumb Daryl. Dumb Daryl. Just Darryl. asked me to build him a houseboat. Mm. But he's so dumb, he wants one with a blank. <laughs> Oh, good, he got one. Right. You're ready? Oh. He went through three. The nurse helped me. Did you see her? You hardly noticed her. <laughs> All right, you've got your, you've got your boy answer in. Good. Hi. Dumb Daryl just to ask me to build him a houseboat. He's so dumb, though, he wants one with a... Basement. A basement. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> a basement. 
Uh, how down is he, Jimmy? <laughs> well, a basement was kind of an interesting answer. It's at the bottom level. But you can actually have a basement in a boat, because I used to row boats, and they had basements in the bottom of them. They but I can't row boats, yes, but they, a basement. My boat had a basement in it. That's right. That's <laughs> the kind of guy that I am. I said the obvious answer, garage, which is very good and original. <laughs> All right, what'd you come up with, Dana? Anything at all like Jimmy's? <laughs> nah. No, it was just a garage. But in honor of the U.S. postage system and for their raising their prices every other weekend, I said mailbox. Mailbox. <laughs> A houseboat's what we have in mind here, Joanne. He's so dumb he wants one with a... Do you know it wouldn't have mattered which one of these I used? <laughs> because well, that's wonderful, wonderful, Mr. Smith. <laughs> However, <laughs> I said driveway. You can't have that on a boat. Uh, no driveway I on a boat. Bob. I should. Wow. Hey, fine. Bob, you don't own a boat, do you? No, I don't. And, uh -huh. and you, you boot her. Go ahead. I dare you. Right, just boom me. Go ahead. Boom. Thank you. Driveway. Oh, boom me. Driveway. Driveway. I love most of you. I love most of you. Thank you very much. If, if there was a dumb guy, what would he want in this his This is definitive. He wanted a garden. A garden. Hey, wait. No match. She's a nice we lady. Have no match. The score is zero to zero, but we're going to come back in a minute and play matchup, and I guarantee they'll get some scores. Stay with us. Welcome back. Well, here at the end of the first round, the score is locked up. At, uh, <laughs> <laughs> zero to zero. Cut that tension with a knife, are right. you? <laughs> right now, we're going to change that because we'll play matchup. And this is where you can you can build up your score from this to uh, yeah, to wherever you are by playing against the clock. Stephanie, you're in the champion seat, so we'll start with you, and you can play with any one of our stars. Who do you want to play with? I'm going to take Jimmy. I want to play with her, too. <laughs> game of life. Well, I hope you agree with our game. <laughs> Okay, we're going to show you a series of possible matchups, Stephanie. Use the button on your screen to select what you think is the best answer, and then every time Jimmy agrees with you, you get $50. I agree with anything Stephanie's got to say. All right, you have 30 seconds to see how well you connect here. You ready? Ready. Go. Soda, blank. Soda water, soda fountain. Soda fountain. Match. Little big, blank. Little big man, little big horn. Little big man. Match. Jungle, blank. Jungle book, jungle gym. Jungle book. Match. Made in blank. Made in the shade, made in Japan. Made in Japan. No match. Aye. Four blank. Four on the floor, four score. Four on the floor. No match. Open blank. Open and shut, open house. Open house. Match. Oh, there we go. You're amazing. You didn't get us, Steph. It worked. It worked. Was it? It worked. <laughs> okay, Steve, she did pretty well there. She got 200. Your turn. Who do you want to play with? Charles. Mm, go with Charles, Nelson oh, Riley. Right <laughs> and the two okay. sailors together here. All right. <laughs> $50 a match. You get 30 seconds. Both of you ready? <clears throat> go. Silk blank. Silk stockings, silk worm. Silk stocking. Match. Corn blank. Corn on the cob, corn flakes. Corn flake. Match. Small blank. Small time, small wonder. Small time. No match. Jack blank. Jack Spratt, Jack O'Lantern. Jack O'Lantern. No match. Get a blank. Get a life, get a job. Get a job. Match. Navy blank. Navy blue, Navy bean. Navy bean. Oh, not in time and not a match. Oh, oh. You got three matches, Steve. You have uh, 150, 70 has 200. We're going to come right back and play more match game in just a moment, please. Stay with at the end of the, uh, the first round, Stephanie has 200. Steve, you're 150. You're trailing right now, so you'll get to go first. A or B? A, please. Hmm. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here oh, we go. Here we go. We're getting poised. Poised. <laughs> poised and ready. With pen in hand. Ah, Federal Express gets it there overnight. Eddie's Express takes a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> That's because Eddie straps your package to a blank. <laughs> Smith? That's right. Yeah. Look, everybody has their answers. Okay, here we go, Steve. Federal Express gets it there overnight. Eddie's Express takes longer because Eddie straps your package to a turtle. Yeah. A turtle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
That's a good, that's a good answer, isn't it, Jimmy? I had to go with mule, but turtle is a good answer. Oh, that was a fine answer. Dana, now, did you share with him like, like you did last time? No, it's a little bitty package <laughs> oh. on a snail. On a snail. Oh. Little tiny well, package. Getting closer to a turtle, uh, Charles. Be a a I'm snail. sorry, snail again. Ah, oh. oh, snail. Slow as a snail, slow as a turtle, slow as a mule? Shall we all remember what the name of this game is? It's called a match <gasps> game. Mr. Match! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Match! <laughs> Mr. Match! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. Robert, I went for a pigeon. It's a sm slower, <laughs> a slower pigeon. pigeon. Uh, okay, Mary. Well, mine Mary. is much better than pigeon. It's not very good, but it's pony. A no, pony. pony. A small yes. pony. Hey, I like no, that no, answer. No, 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 no. All right, Steve. No, we got no, one turtle out of them. We got one turtle out of them. Here we go. Right. 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 All right, Joe. I have to think. Oh, this one. Oh, this is a presidential question. A presidential question. Stand up. George Bush said to Barbara. Uh huh. I will never again allow Dan Quayle to come to Camp David. Because <laughs> he thinks Camp David is just like a summer camp. The last time he stayed there, he blanked my bed. <laughs> Charles, you're still drawing, are you? No, I'm doing uh, some Christmas cards. I'm a little beyond. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They've got to get us envelopes for these. Okay, Don't Stephanie, let's see how you do with it. George Bush said to Barbara, well, he doesn't want Dan Quayle to come to Camp David anymore because he thinks it's a summer camp. <clears throat> Last time he stayed there, he... Water ballooned my bed. He water ballooned. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh. Maybe you go oh. water balloon. Water balloon my bed. Is that, is that, no, I, is that happen a lot? That. Is, that, is that something that... <laughs> that's a new my college camp, craze, Ross. Camps that always You've happen. water ballooned the bed. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, I haven't been to summer camp in a while. We'll Sweeping the country, a college craze. <laughs> It is. Oh, well, I better, I better get him. Yeah. It's that old done, SC thing. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy, I thought the obvious good answer here, of course, but that's what a marriage brings up. We have to have differences. <laughs> he went wee wee in <laughs> my bed. Oh. Thank you. Well, Thank there's, you. there's water in both those answers, but it's no match. Good answer. Dana? <laughs> I want this whole place clear. What did he, what did he, <laughs> what did he do in my bed? Well, he tinkled in mine. He tinkled in mine. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Those are very good answers, but I'm for the preservation and the conservation of uh, this kind of ink. So I just said W.E.T. Well, yeah, well. Uh, I think well, he... that layer all has filthy minds. <laughs> 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 like so that in layer. the presidential bed, that layer. Uh. No. I th don't you remember short cheating? That's yeah. 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 That's what I did. That's right. Yeah. What the heck, Ross? You and I are guys, huh? We're guys or what, huh? What yeah, we're guys. Happen? If you're a guy, you're gonna have to go and short sheet a bed, huh? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's have some fun out here. Jeez. Mary, Mary, what do you think Dan Quayle did in that bed? Where I come from, when you went to camp, short sheet was called apple pieing the bed. We apple pied it. Gonna... You apple pied a bed? She lying? Oh, she's not lying. You apple, right. apple right. pie to bed. No, honest to goodness, apple that's what I'm glad all your mothers and fathers had money to send you to camp. They put me on the fire escape. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't, want, I don't think we want to hear about Charles' sad childhood any longer. We have to move on. Now it's time to play final matchup. We have a tie score right now. Whoever wins this round will win the game. And a chance to play for a possible $10,000. Seven, you're the champion. You'll get to go first. Who do you want to play with? I'm going to play with Joanne. Oh, because I'm the closest. <laughs> okay. Match up. No. This time, yeah. did not have a every matchup will be worth $100. We're going to give you 45 seconds instead of 30 to get as many as you can. Good luck. Ready? Ready. Go. Blank mail. Air mail, black mail. Air mail. No match. Blank Rooney. Mickey Rooney, Andy Rooney. Mickey Rooney. No match. Blank moon. Full moon, man in the moon. Full moon. Match. Blank sign. Astrological sign for sale sign. Astrological sign. No match. Blank prince. Blueprints, fingerprints. Blueprints. Match. Blank doll. Living doll, Barbie doll. Barbie doll. Match. Blank law. Murphy's Law, Mar Martial Law. Murphy's. No match. Blank Digest. Architectural Digest, Reader's, Reader's digest. digest. Yes, that's a match. Blank Point. To the point, Boiling Point. Boiling Point. No match. Hey. Blank to the, blank the grass. Cut the grass, keep off the grass. Cut the no, grass. That's a match, oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, very tense. Right. 
very tense, Stephanie. Nice job, you rallied there. You have 700 now. Steve, this is your chance to go for the win. Who do you want to play with? I'm going to play with Bob. All right. With Bob, okay. Oh, that's your problem. I feel something. <laughs> Steve? I feel something among us, Steve. Steve, the pressure is on you now. She has 700, you have 200. You've got to beat 700 to win this game. Okay, let's have 45 seconds. Ready? Go. Blank dial. Sundial, phone dial. Sundial. Match. Blank coach. Football coach, stage coach. Football coach. No match. Blank tiger. Tony the tiger, hold that tiger. Tony the tiger. Match. Blank cabin. Mountain cabin, log cabin. Log cabin. Match. Blank minimum. Bare minimum, no minimum. No minimum. Match. Blank lady. First lady, leading lady. First lady. Match. Blank agreement. Gentlemen's agreement, prenuptial agreement. Gentlemen's agreement. Match and win. <laughs> Thank you very much for playing. We will give Jimmy Walker's number for you. You leave us with $2,950. Thank you very much for playing last week. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with our big money super match in a moment. Here we go. Here we go. Now it's the big money super match time. This is where you can win over $10,000, Steve. Now we're going to start with an audience match, if you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, we pulled a recent studio audience and got their best response to this. Huh. Blank Newton. <laughs> now, if you can guess the most popular answer, you'll get $500. If you guess the second most popular answer, $300. And the third best answer, $200. Now, you can get uh, three of our celebrities here to help you. <laughs> Who would you like to uh, have help you fill that in? Well, I've got to start off with Bob. Bob. <laughs> nice guy. Think, I think we're talking about, I want to thank you for seeing me again, Mr. Wayne Newton, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> thank Wayne you. Newton. Joanne. And Joanne. Okay. Another great singer. Fig Newton. The best. <laughs> Fig Newton. He can really shake him down. Oh, yeah. He's great. Okay, one more. Who's the inventor? Uh, Charles. Who, uh, who's the inventor? Isaac. Uh, let me think a minute. No, no, take Isaac. Isaac Newton. <laughs> Isaac Newton. I got it. Now, <laughs> he's in the NBA, Charles. You're taking one of those, NBA. Steve, or one of your own? Uh, I'm going to go with Fig. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Yeah. Whoa! Fig Newton. Let's you enjoy it. Let's see, it. Let's see how well you've done. I'm steaming. What is the $200 answer? Isaac? Uh, yay, Isaac! <laughs> <laughs> well, and then the next one, what's the $300 answer? Wayne. Wayne. Oh, good for you. Oh, I like me. Okay. The one we're looking for is the big one, the $500 answer. Can yeah, we match Fig Newton? Yeah. Yes, we can. <laughs> This is your day. This is your yeah. day. All right, that's $500. That means you're going to be playing for at least 10 times that, or $5,000, by matching one of our celebrities head-to-head. -head. Double that amount. Oh. You can get a good spin on our star wheel. So let's bring it in. Yeah, okay, why don't you uh, take your spot up there. Now, you've seen this. We want you to spin this pointer around the dial. Whichever star it lands on, that'll be your partner in the head-to-head. -head. If it lands on one of the red dots, you were playing for double or ten thousand dollars. Ouch! So give it a hearty spin, won't you? The All rolling right. wheel of death. Go do it. I just said there is too much pressure in this. There is. Dana Red Dot. Okay. Come here, Steve. Come here, Steve. This you wanted a career. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, you're going to be playing for $10,000. Oh Ouch. Now, to win the money, you have to match Dana head to head. It's got to be an exact match. Please, no help from the audience. Give me your best answer. Think about this blank bunch. Blank bunch. Dana, you write your answer down.
right, Dana, go ahead and put yours. Dana's got hers ready. Steve, what is your answer for blank bunch? Brady. For $10,000, Dana, can you match Brady Bunch? Steve, on the home show, uh -huh. we teach you how to save money. So I promise if you don't win, I'll teach you how to save some money, okay? But you're going to have a lot of... Yeah! We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Steve and his money. We just have time to say goodbye. Steve will be back tomorrow with his $10,800. We hope to see you next time on Match Game, folks. Thanks for watching. Departing contestants will receive Jurgen Aloe and Lionel and Vitamin E and Lionel and Skin Conditioning Bars. Now, first thing with Skin Softening Conditioner. Limited edition Ray-Ban, precious metal sunglasses by Bao Shalom. Feature rare metals and 24 karat gold frames with changeable lenses in gray, black, or white. Klondike Light Bars, a delicious frozen dessert with only 110 calories per bar. A tasty treat from Klondike. Speaking for Match Game, a Mark Goodson television production.